All right, guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. We have a lot to go through today. The SEC has named more altcoins security, so we're going to be talking about that. We're also going to be checking out XRP and something pretty interesting that's happening right now. And we are also going to be going through all of the news that you need to know to be the most up to date you can be in this market right now. If you do appreciate that, please do smash up that like button because it really will help me and the YouTube algorithm. And let's jump straight into it. First of all, always remembering that nothing in my videos is financial advice. And let's jump into it. The SEC names more more tokens as securities, including Chili's, Flow, Near, and Nexo. So if you're holding any of those, you do want to be paying attention to this closely. About 24 hours ago, the SEC went after Binance, right? So they named in that lawsuit against Binance that, of course, BNB was a security, but including Solana, Cardano, Polygon, Filecoin, Sandbox, and Axie Infinity, all as securities within that lawsuit. So we saw these cryptos have a little bit of a downturn. On the 24 hours, we're seeing Cardano down around 3%, Solana down very marginally at 0.08%, and Polygon down just over 3%, with the others also having a downturn. Now, if we head back to this, we can see that there are new cryptos that have just been announced, including Voyager Token, Dash, Nexo, and ICP, some of the most prominent names in that list. So definitely want to be paying attention to this because things might get a little bit messy here, and there's a high probability that altcoins do continue to bleed from here. We did, however, see a big lovely bounce in Bitcoin's price which we're going to discuss in a second but there is also another crypto that has been very resilient through this period and that is XRP. Now XRP of course has not been named in any of these lawsuits that the SEC has been posting wildly over the last 24 hours. Of course there is currently a fight happening in court with XRP and we're actually seeing this move up by 3.5% today which, and I think this is testament to how strong the XRP community actually is which we've seen them actually stay strong against pretty much everything that's been happening. XRP not being down at anywhere near as much as a lot of the other large altcoins out there and of course in our public portfolio XRP is still doing the best today. So I think this is a great thing to see and I would love to see this continue and I do think that this time in the market is going to pass but as we were saying things were probably going to get a little bit more bumpy and that's exactly what we're seeing so if we do jump further into this let's check out this tweet from bankless the sec is showing its cards and gary ginsler doesn't believe in crypto in america should exist at all so what have we seen so far yesterday the sec sued binance just one day later they came after coinbase this is when i was asleep so i went to bed they had sued binance the next day they had sued coinbase and labeling a laundry list of tokens as securities calling coinbase staking an investment contract. This is an all-out attack on crypto in America. And what's most crazy about all of this is there is literally nothing that these exchanges can do to sign up with the SEC or to follow any rules. If you do see this tweet from Senator Cynthia Lumens right now, the SEC has failed to provide a path for digital asset exchanges to register and even worse, has failed to provide adequate legal guidance on the differences on what differentiates a security from a commodity. The SEC's continued reliance on regulation by enforcement continues to harm the customers. Real customer protection requires creating a legal framework that exchanges can comply with, not pushing the industry offshore or into the shadows, which is exactly what they're doing. Everyone will just continue to leave the US, go to places like Dubai or other places where they're pro-crypto and they have regulation that's there that's very easy to follow and understand. I think this is very interesting to see. I think we're seeing the government come up against each other and this is going to continue for a while now and it's going to be a very bumpy road. We can see very clearly that Gary Gensler and the SEC has an agenda to get crypto out of America. We don't need more uh, digital currency. We already have digital currency. It's called the US dollar. It's called the euro. It's called the yen. They're all digital right now. We already have digital investments and you, you have digital, you have entrepreneurs representing digital investments on this program all day long. And it's, it's whether it's the big tech companies, the automobile companies, uh, you name it. It's all digital right now, the investing world. So what is the real underlying value of these tokens? And that's why you need full, fair and truthful disclosure. They only seem to think that the only digital currency that we need 
is the dollar, which makes no sense considering the political landscape that we're in right now with everything that's going on. And it's very clear that they're trying to push the agenda of CDBCs. With that said, we did also see within this that the SEC seeks court approval to freeze Binance US crypto assets, citing customer safety concerns. Now, everyone has the opportunity right now to take their money off Binance if they want to. There is no withdrawals that have been frozen. Nothing like that has happened yet. Both Coinbase, Binance, you can take your money off right now. But we have actually seen Coinbase's CEO welcoming the SEC legal battle. We'll get the job done. And the craziest thing is they have all of these accusations. They're suing all these companies, these exchanges, without ever providing any legal standpoint that these exchanges could even register with the SEC, anything like that. So hopefully the benefit and the silver lining to all of this is we'll actually get some regulation and Coinbase, Binance, and whatever other exchange that the SEC is going to go after next can actually register and follow the rules, which will be a step in the right direction, which we're definitely not seeing right now. With that said, we saw Bitcoin fall off an absolute cliff. In yesterday's video, I told you guys that I bought Bitcoin down here. I did the same thing in my private group where I told them exactly where I was buying it. And I managed to catch this drop right here. I managed to buy Bitcoin right here in the mid $25,000 region. Since then, we have had a lovely little bounce here of around 4.6% overnight. So if you were trading out with 10x leverage, that would be 46% up. If you were trading with 20x leverage, that would be close to a 100% move, which is incredible to see in this market. That's the kind of trade that I actually personally did. So with that said, guys, if you are looking for an exchange to use right now to make the best of the current volatility, I am partnered here with Pionex and they have a very interesting offer for you guys. Now, this is going to run out extremely fast. So you have to be the first 50 to even get this. But if you are seeing this right now, pause the video, head down to Pionex and you can get yourself up to 100 USDT in a future bonus airdrop. Now, the first airdrop for this will be sign up and get $10 for free. You just sign up and you'll get the $10, right? You can then use that $10 to trade on the exchange with leverage, let's say 10x, and you'll be able to do a trade with $100 right there for totally free. Any of the profits you make, you'll be able to keep yourself. With that said, there are two more sections to this. Airdrop number two, you'll deposit $200 and you'll get a free $30. And also airdrop number three, where you trade $4,000 and you can get $60. Now this promotion is going to end at the end of this month and only the first first 50 will get airdrop one, but there is a lot more room for airdrop two and three. So if you do want to come over and trade on a new exchange, the link's going to be down there in my description. But of course, guys, please do remember that, of course, you are putting your money on these exchanges and they do come with risks. We're seeing those risks right now. So be safe out there. Only allocate small amounts of your funds to any exchange that you use. Stay safe out there, stay smart and always conduct your own research. Now, we are also seeing the greed and fear index quickly move from what was fear yesterday back into neutrality. So like I said, yesterday was a time to buy. Extreme fear in the market, in my opinion, is always a time to be dollar cost averaging and accumulating things that we believe in for the long term. And again, this is just testament to that theory. We've seen a huge bounce here. If you're a short term trader, you could have made a nice amount of profit. If you're a long term trader, you could have averaged your bag in Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever it was that you would have liked to continue to gather. Now, another reason why the market is pushing upwards is that we've seen, again, the exact opposite to what we saw yesterday. Huge liquidity liquidations. This time round, it's short liquidations. People going short right around here. So this is what the market overall does, right? We see this here. Everyone goes super long in these situations. The market crashes down. Those same people go short in these situations. And this just continues to happen over and over again, creating huge movements in the market, which I don't think are going to stop. So what we can do is we can change our mindset and we can trade against these people. And that's how we can make money both in the short term and the long term, in my opinion, not financial advice, of course. And this accounted for more than $90 million worth of liquidations as the price mysteriously rips upwards. Now, I think it's a little bit of mysteria, a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of these short liquidations, which of course forces buys onto the market. And also one last thing, the largest Bitcoin whales aggressively accumulating Bitcoin, right? We're seeing this over again, time in, time out. Big whales are accumulating Bitcoin and other cryptos 
when the market is panicked. And I think this is going to continue to happen for both Bitcoin, Ethereum and other blue chip altcoins. And we're going to continue to see this, right? These big players are going to continue to accumulate when everyone's panicking. There are also smaller players that are accumulating when everyone's panicking. And these people are the ones that, in my opinion, are going to make the significant amount of money that everyone's looking for. But we need to have patience. Now, the amount of comments that I got in the comment section from yesterday's video saying that people sold their entire bag after the drop was just wild. In my opinion, you should not be selling when the market is panicked. The exact opposite is when you should be selling when the market is euphoric. This is why we never invest money we cannot afford to lose because it's too much stress to watch money that you need go down. Don't invest money that you need. Then you won't have as much stress and when the market goes down, just like me, you'll see it as an opportunity. And hopefully here on this channel, I can continue to bring you value each and every day. So smash up that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.